Hey, what's going on guys? You're watching Ghost Ibis Collectibles, and as promised, we are back again today with another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening, none other than the Yu-Gi-Oh! Maximum Gold uh, mini box. I still want to say booster box. This is a mini box of one of the most amazing sets ever released. I can't get enough. So today we're going to crack into one of these, and we're going to walk away with eight beautiful maximum gold cards. Honestly, it's just incredible. You cannot go wrong with this set. So if you haven't done so already, go out and pick yourself up uh, one of this set. As you can see, I've totally decimated that box, but needs want. So, here we go. We have our beautiful four packs in here. We don't have to worry about code cards or anything quite like Pokemon. So these are going to be nice and easy to take out of this little plastic sheet, protecting our valuable gold from thieves and other such miscreants. And today, we have some amazing facts. I'm so excited, so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future openings. And remember to send in some luck for our Bujingi Ibis, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost Ibis mascots of the channel to bless our packs today and ensure we get some amazing pulls. In truth, I don't even know what to look for in this set, but there is a lot of good stuff, so I'll take anything. Maybe an Apollosa alternate art or an Elemental Hero Stratos alternate art. Either one of those would be fantastic, so... I'd say that's what we're hoping for today. Anyway, let's find out. We have Necro Valley Throne, with our gold regular rare technology, very interesting. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Buffalo. We have Cyber Dragon Core, which is always going to be a good reprint for a Cyber Dragon player just like me. We have Gear Gigant X, very cool. Planet Pathfinder, a little Mars rover, and already one of the coolest gold rares you could possibly hope for. Polymerization Maximum Gold Premium Gold Rare, which is... it's hard to tell in the camera, but there, it is actually a textured card where the outline is actually three-dimensional. If I ran my finger over it, I would be able to feel it. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to put any fingerprints on this beautiful card, but that would be possible, and it is stunning. I hope you guys appreciate that just as much as I do. And uh, so far this one's looking in a lot better condition than the previous ones we'd opened, which had like little dings where I think the gold was being printed on to the card. Second one, Dark Magician. Can you believe that? That is definitely one of the other cards I wanted to pull today. Dark Magician classic artwork, the original artwork, and premium gold rare. I don't know if I can shine it just right so you can see that, but that is stunning. What a classic pack. So out of the first pack, we got two of the most classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards in existence, two of the most iconic cards in existence. Dark Magician, Yu-Gi's Ace Monster, and Polymerization, a card that was used in pretty much every Yu-Gi-Oh series to bring out some of the most incredible, powerful boss monsters. Yeah, that's a good pack. We could just stop the opening right there. But we do have three more packs to go, so let's just keep going. <laughs> How on earth can we top that? No, 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 maybe that Appaloosa will have something to do with it, but we're going to have to work for our pulls today. Uh, following that up, that is. Alright, we have Speedroid, Red-Eyed Dice. I wonder if it's a Red-Eyes card, technically. Union Hanger, a good reprint. We have... Imperial Tombs of Necrovalley. I do like my Necrovalley cards. They've got that Egyptian theme. Tachyon Transmigration. Trade-in. Always a good card. And Laundry Dragon Maid. Very beautiful. I don't think we got this one last time. We did get the Parlor Dragon Maid. And so, yes, all the Dragon Maids are reprinted. Maybe we'll finally get that Kitchen Dragon Maid. But getting a Laundry Dragon Maid is not a bad way to go. On to the next one. Anti-Magic Arrows. Okay, it looks very beautiful. Probably a pretty good card, too. I don't know much about this one in particular, but it is beautiful, and I will enjoy adding it to my collection. So, second pack, not as standout as the first one, but still incredible. Just getting any of those premium gold rares are just stunning, so I will happily take any and all of them that I can get. And I sincerely hope that Konami makes more of this set, as in a sequel set which uses the same type of rarity. This is definitely the best gold rare we've ever had. On to the third pack. Alright, I am excited. We have Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impala. We have Noble Knight Dristan, probably my favorite of the Noble Knight cards, just because that artwork is so serene and beautiful. 
We have Madolce Chateau, which is a very cool card. We have Barrier Statue of Inferno, so they're in this. Very odd. White Stone of Ancients, and I believe the gold card is next. We did it. We got the Kitchen Dragon Maid. After all this time, Mystic Fighters is over, and I think this rarity is even more stunning than the secret rare that this card previously came in. Well, guys, time to pat ourselves on the back because that is incredible. Oh my god. This card probably isn't as expensive as it used to be, but it is just as beautiful. She reminds me a lot of Erza Scarlet from Fairy Tale, which is definitely a win. <laughs> what a beautiful card. Behind her, we have Infernity Mirage, probably one of the least exciting gold rares, but still a gold rare nonetheless. Kitchen Dragon Maid, Dark Magician, and Polymerization in the one pack? Wow. One box, I should say. All right, we still have one more to go. How can we end this video even better than those two pulls? Is an Appaloosa hiding in here? Is there an infinite impermanence? I believe that card's in this set. I don't know, but there might be. And that maybe is enough to get me excited. We have Shared Ride, very cool uh, classic artwork. We have number C101, Silent Honor, Dark. <laughs> Dragon's Mirror, fantastic reprint with a gold lettering, very cool. Dimensional Prison, another stunning, incredible reprint. This card used to be so expensive. We have Miracle Contact, another very cool card for my Neos playing self. And Stardust Charge Warrior. So we have pulled this guy before, one of the least exciting cards as well, like Infernity Mirage, but still stunning. Very detailed. The gold rare on this card is definitely standout. And Solemn Judgment. Well, we have seen this guy before, but... You cannot go wrong with Solemn Judgment, so having a look at the pulls we've managed to score today, not including the gold letter rares, I think we did amazingly well from this box. Those four cards in particular, right there, Dark Magician, Polymerization, Solemn Judgment, and Kitchen Dragon Maid, made this entire thing worth it. All of them, in fact, are going to be beautiful additions to my collection, so none of them are disappointing. If you guys are still wondering whether or not to buy this set, you have my full recommendation to go out and buy it. <laughs> But now that we've got the Dark Magician, we've got to hunt for the Red Eyes Black Dragon and the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which I am certain are in this set, in this rarity. And of course we do have the Appaloosa to track down and Elemental Hero Stratos, so we're gonna need to open up a few more boxes of these, I think. Anyway guys, thanks for watching today's video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed, comment down below if you have anything at all to say, and remember to subscribe to my channel so you can see videos just like this. That's it for me today, guys. Ghost Ibis signing out. Peace.